a strong woman. Tonight, Boston's Mayor Michelle Wu admits that a mistake was made in an invitation to a holiday party. Members of the Boston City Council received an email invitation to what's called a gathering of electeds of color. Not all members of the council fit that description. I think we've we've had individual conversations with everyone so people understand that it was truly just a, an honest mistake that went out in, in typing the email field and um, I look forward to celebrating with everyone at the holiday parties that we will have besides this one as well. So um, it is my intention that we can again um, be a city that lives our values and create space for all kinds of communities to come together. I'm mad at you. Representative Barbara Lee from Oakland is calling for a $50 minimum wage. During the California Senate debate on Monday, co-host Fox 40 News Nikki Lorenzo asked Lee to explain how the minimum wage hike would be economically sustainable for small businesses. Just do the math. Of course we have national uh, minimum wages that we need to raise to a living wage. You're talking about $20, $25, fine. But I have got to be focused on what California needs and what the affordability factor is when we calculate this wage. Ms. Lee. What? According to Lee, workers in the San Francisco Bay Area aren't being paid a living wage. She claims that according to recent reports, $127,000 a year is barely enough for a family of four to get by. That is one strange woman. Missouri Democrat and squad member Cori Bush is now under federal investigation over her alleged misuse of government funds meant for security. You'll remember that she defended her spending on private security in a 2021 interview with CBS. Listen. I'm going to make sure I have security because I know I have had attempts on my life and I have too much work to do. So suck it up and defunding the police has to happen. We need to defund the police and put that money into social safety nets because we're trying to save lives. We do know that she paid a lot of money to her boyfriend, who is now her husband, for security. That is politics, bitch. <laughs> Did you want to take a break? Christina Peterson did not do herself any favors during seven days of hearings beginning last September. The JQC hearing panel's report criticized her for not taking any responsibility for the 30 counts of judicial misconduct lodged against her. The most troubling, wrote the panel, Peterson's decision to jail this woman for trying to amend her marriage certificate to include the real name of her recently discovered father. You cannot go in this building, and eventually she went in. The sheriff's office said Peterson agreed ignored their orders and held a wedding after hours, allowing people inside without deputies present. She once hit a panic button when a deputy was late escorting her to court, causing a temporary panic among security. And when county staff criticized her actions, it quickly triggers allegations of obstructionism or even racism. These communications and actions reveal a judge who publicly vilifies colleagues, is quick to threaten them with unnecessary legal action, and generally projects a spiteful and vainglorious persona. I'm the first African-American female and Democrat. Yes. I was never celebrated or congratulated. Shut up, bitch. Dalton, Illinois Mayor Tiffany Hinyard has been under intense scrutiny and ridicule over her alleged spending of taxpayer money. Those expenditures include tens of thousands of dollars worth of luxury travel to Las Vegas and Atlanta, also pricey meals, also hair and makeup. Subpoenas were issued for her boyfriend, her top aide, the acting police chief, her charity, and those are just a few. The FBI here in Chicago is looking at the actions of this small south suburban mayor who has lived a large life on the taxpayer expense. Stop it. Stop with the disrespect. We're going to end that right now. Stop. Isn't it interesting when we got a bunch of African-American DAs, now we need uh, daddy to tell us what to do? Champagne, chocolate, and caviar. It was a three, and it was like three different things. Sweden, Russia, someplace else. I'll make that up. District Attorney Fani. F-A-N-I, last name is Willis. I don't know the day that we started seeing each other, but it was early 22. When did your romantic relationship with Miss Willis begin? 2022. That would have been after Fonnie Willis brought Nathan Wade into the Trump criminal probe, paying him around $700,000 to date. But an estranged friend and former DA staffer, Robin Yerdy, testified the two actually began dating three years earlier. 
That's also what former Wade law partner Terrence Bradley texted one of the defense attorneys. But when Bradley was questioned under oath, his story changed, insisting his texts were speculation. A man is not a plan. A man is a companion. I don't need anybody to foot my bills. The only man who's ever foot my bills completely is my daddy. I'm a sister. I can do all of it. Oh, come on. We're in a house of God. <laughs> First, um, simmer down. Commissioner Kavanaugh and Chief Hodgins for that recognition. Sandra, good morning. Well, the FDNY is urging firefighters to turn themselves in, insisting they are, quote, not hunting anyone down, but they are looking into those who they say clearly broke department regulations when they booed AG Letitia James and started chanting former President Donald Trump's name at a promotion ceremony last week at a Brooklyn church. You suck. <laughs> uh, it's sort of it's sort of our attitude. You know, we will be the best. We will be the first. And I want others to follow because Right now we have, you know, young black kids growing up in the Bronx who don't even know what the word a computer is. They, they don't know. They don't know these things. That's so racist. Oh, bite me, crouching tiger. We know that Trump's public statements have been crazy and incoherent for years. And we know that he is too tired and sleepy to stay awake through his own criminal trial. It's not prison Biden who's not sharp. It's, in fact, Donald Trump. Mr. Garcia, maybe you could just lift up that picture of our, our uh, President Trump sleeping, um, as you say, I, I think he's praying. Um, but if he is sleeping, you know, he certainly looks pretty while he sleeps. Some may right with her. Mm. Mother would say to me, don't you ever let anybody tell you who you are. You tell them who you are. Don't ever carry as a personal burden your capacity to do whatever you dream and aspire to do based on other people's limited ability to see who can do what. We have to know that sometimes people will open the door for you and leave it open. Sometimes they won't. And then you need to kick that door down. <laughs> a woman in politics is like a donkey doing calculus. Straight up bitches. Woman. Yeah, boy. Yeah.